maybe the craziest rule myth that some people still believe. Coming up next. Before we get into the strangest room myth that I've heard, there was one other thing that happened during this play that is worth pointing out. Youth players at first base will often stay at the base, forcing a runner to round the outside of the first base. When no throw is going to be made at first base, the first baseman needs to provide the runner the inside of the base. Not doing so is considered obstruction, as this umpire appears to point out. If you umpire younger players, how do you handle this situation? Now to the rule myth. Recently, I caught this strange question from a spectator to an umpire that occurred as the teams were between half innings. Question for you. On that hit, that stuff that just happened, right? That kid that scored, did you see the on deck batter give him a high five before he hit the plate? No. <laughs> That's all right. No, it's illegal. No, no yes. it's not illegal. It is. It's illegal for them to assist in getting them to a base or back to a base. Just a high five while they're running by is technically not illegal. Apparently, this spectator believes that if anyone touches the runner before they reach home plate, that runner should be called out. So this here, the on-deck batter giving a high five to a runner advancing home, should result in that runner being called out. When I first saw this clip, I was mystified. Why would anyone think that? That's the strangest thing I've heard. But in talking with other baseball nerds, this is apparently a rule myth that is more common than I realized. The rule myths are a list of common misunderstandings or beliefs about baseball rules that many non-baseball fanatics believe. There are things passed down from generation to generation by people who never bothered to read the rule book. Post in the comments a rule myth you thought that was true and how you found out the truth. Reading your stories will be interesting. For this situation here, I can assure you that this is not an out. Just logic and common sense should tell you that. The fielders are not being hindered or interfered with. The runner is not being given any help to reach any base. And this happens all the time, at every level. If high fives and pats on the back weren't out, then we need to rewrite history and take that famous home run away from Hank Aaron. The rule books that I have actually do not even speak of an on-deck or other players touching or assisting runners. It does mention the base coaches and says they may not, by touching, assist the runner in going to a base or returning to a base. This is a coach assisting a runner in going to a base. That is an out. But touching the runner, by that act alone, is never an out. But the rules, at least the rule sets that I'm aware of, do not even mention players touching runners. If you know of any or find any, post them in the comments. Are there any rule myths that you'd like to see covered in one of the videos? Post a comment and I'll start adding videos on the different rule myths.